Not bad. You've made it this far, Miss March. You've passed the exam. Oh! Ha! I took... <laughs> With yours? Yeah. But looking back... Yeah! I've not... Those experiences... That actually... Now, I'd love to hear... Ching once said, do you feel any closer? Ah, oh, yes, absolutely. I'm going up against Scott soon. <laughs> Nervous about what? Oh, but Scott will definitely... Masters could handle them for sure. But if... Why focus on piercing the armor? For hackers, the ideal way to win is to infiltrate the opponent's system. Here, give me your sword. All right, you've been enhanced. Go for it. No, when it comes to programming, less is more. Overdoing it increases the chance of creating errors. So, I can defeat him just like that? Yeah, there's a Sanjo proverb for such an occasion. Know yourself and know your enemy, and you'll never have to sleep in the doghouse. You made up the second half, didn't you? What do you know? Just let sleeping dogs lie. Anyway, now's not the time for discussing Sanjo sayings. You've got bigger fish to fry. Go and show Scott what you're made of. March 7th, you're late. Here I was, thinking you were too chicken to show your face. I was thinking I might have to track you down and settle the score. Too chicken? I was giving you the chance to back out. But you're actually insulting me now, you cheeky. Making excuses for being late like it's no big deal. If you worked under me, I'd personally make you regret it. I wonder. 
wonder what Silverwolf did to my sword. Can I really defeat Scott? Don't worry, dear Miss March. Rest assured, we will win. Greetings, Miss March 7. I am the Tactical AI Chrome, parentheses, Learning Edition, close parentheses. My purpose is to aid you in overcoming adversaries. No, Silver Wolf is not amazing at all. When Silver Wolf installed me into your sword, her terrible wielding skills actually reduced the sword's impact resistance by 12%. But please, don't worry. I'll help you secure the victory, because I actually am amazing. Uh, how exactly are you going to defeat him? Silver Wolf has told me, know yourself, and know your enemy, and you'll never have to sleep in the doghouse. The moment your sword touches the enemy mechs, I will upload a small virus onto their operating systems. So go ahead, strike your opponents with your sword. Did I just hear her sword talking? Are my ears playing tricks on me? Hey, take this! System. detected. What's happening? My mech! What did you do to my mech, March? I... I don't know! Higher authority command recognized. Entering combat mode. Now it is time to fight, dear Miss March. Oh no! Boys, they've taken control of our mechs! Get ready for battle! Miss March, I'm begging you! These mechs aren't cheap! Please don't break them! Sure thing. Provided you do not fight back, the mechs will remain undamaged. Oh, this cyber swordplay is amazing! <laughs> know yourself, and know your enemy, and you'll never have to sleep in the doghouse. call this a sparring session, but March 7th, your actions today have blatantly crossed the last line of the law! You injected a virus into the IPC mechs and took control! That's an infringement of the IPC's intellectual property and assets!
I'd be more concerned about yourself, Scott. Why were you storing your private data on an IPC computer? Private data? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> No idea, huh? I noticed you paid a hefty sum for the end-of-life data deletion service, so I'm guessing there must be something worth seeing. You, 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 stop! Stop right there! That's private! Who told you you can invade my privacy? Just stop it! What were the terms again, March? Scott, you need to immediately apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. You'll need to shout, IPC mechs are a total joke, and print that on every mech on your transport ship. Oh yeah, almost forgot. You have to squeal like a pig. That's pretty much the same as barking like a dog, right? <laughs> He's already barked like a dog. Players are bored of it. Let's come up with something new. How about singing the soul glad jingle, but with a pig squeal? Oops, I meant all of us. Sometimes I get carried away playing games. <laughs> Just a slip of the tongue. <laughs> Fine, you've got me. I want to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. It's my fault for causing trouble and making a scene on purpose. And then, uh, uh just wait a second. Uh, oh, how did that stupid song go? Oh, right. IPC mechs are a total joke! Oink, 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 He actually sang it twice. Talk about being committed to providing a service. Specialist God, I found something! This woman! She's a Stellaron hunter! What? No wonder she was able to effortlessly hack into our systems! Oops, you caught me. <laughs> Since my cover's blown, it looks like I'll have to resort to social obliteration to keep you quiet. <laughs> the overbearing mech falls in love with me? <laughs> Romance of the inorganic empire? <laughs> wow, your taste in entertainment is really unique. I'm sorry, I, uh, I'll be on my way. Uh, but boss, why don't we take this chance to uh, catch her and claim the reward? Why? Because if you don't leave now, you'll be socially obliterated too! Hold on a sec. Before you leave, let me give you a piece of advice. What? You should have faith in cloud technology. You just don't get it! Humanity will never feel secure by putting all their faith in an ever-changing network! This victory has nothing to do with swordplay and everything to do with the power of technology. I've learned another Sanjo saying, Though my hands are empty, my heart wields a blade.
crunching rocks! Ugh, shame my body can't keep up with my brain. Not bad. You've made it this far, Miss March. You've passed the exam. skills? Yeah, I'm pretty... But looking back... Yeah, I have not... A... Those experiences will nourish... That actually makes sense. Now, I'd love to hear your suggestions on... <laughs> Let's do it! I already have an idea! I remember Yen Qing once said, There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you do you feel any closer to be- Ah, oh, yes, absolutely! You two! Oh, we heard that Scott sent you a challenge, so we were wondering if there's anything we can do to help you defeat him. Thanks, Wahwa. You've already been a huge help by teaching me how to use the exercising tools. Even though I've only been learning swordplay for a short time, I'm confident I can take down the IPC next. Uh, don't mention it. It's actually me who should be thanking you, March. But seriously, didn't she kick Scott's butt already? So why is she back again? Don't humans ever learn from their mistakes? No, Mr. Tail. There's a saying. Revenge is a dish best served cold. But Scott hardly has any patience. He couldn't resist the temptation to get back at us. Still, if that's how I beat him, it'd be a little less satisfying. I get it. Some people never learn, no matter how many times you knock them down. They'll never admit defeat or learn anything. So, uh, how do we get him to admit defeat? Listen, kid, I'm not trying to rag on you, but you're always playing into Scott's hands with your approach. He set up these rules for a fight between his mechs and your sword, and you agreed. Then he laid out what to do if you win or lose, and you agreed again. It's basically just another one of Scott's organized sports events, and it's not even fun if you win! Hmm. Looks like you've come to the right person. I'm a Heliobus, and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Just remove my seal, Wahwa. <laughs> What's the harm? As long as you don't go snitching to that ghosty, we won't run into any trouble. Oh, just wait and see. I'll make Scott change his mind and admit defeat wholeheartedly. What do you say? Oh, you're awesome, Mr. Tail! Well, well, if it isn't our hero, March 7th. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. We're here to fight. What's wrong with you people? Sending me a threatening letter? Who are you trying to scare? 
A threatening letter? What are you even talking about? Oh, stop playing dumb! Didn't you slip this into my pocket? Uh, Mr. Scott, a great sinner of arrogance and insolence. You have inflicted your twisted lust for power upon that innocent shop owner and insulted the extraordinary art of Sienjo swordplay. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes in person. The time for change is now. Your twisted desires will be stripped away by us? The writing is terrible. I wouldn't have understood it if you hadn't just read it to me. What the heck did you just say? Hey, who said that? Uh, no, uh, no one said anything. You must have imagined it. Well, enough for chit chat. March 7th, I'm going to make you bark. I didn't even see her draw her sword. Time seemed to freeze and all I saw was a flash of green fire. In an instant, I remembered staring out at the sea as a child, glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog, which turned out to be the home of that girl, Rakshmi. Seriously, who lights a green lantern in their house? Those guys must be nuts. Ah, why am I suddenly remembering these things? Is my life flashing before my eyes? Am I dead? Looks like this is Scott's mind. I'd better find where his most twisted desires are lurking. Scott, get your butt over here. This guy looks just like his old man. Humans spent decades trying to heal their childhood traumas, and Scott might be no different. What's with all the yelling on the weekend, Dad? We're sleepy. Sleeping? How many times do I have to tell you? Do credit sleep? Does the free market sleep? Does the invisible hand sleep? Forget it, we'll discuss this later. Pafana's parents came by earlier. They heard about Pafana breaking his leg while playing Sky Dart, and they found out that you carried him to the hospital. So they decided to visit the father of their son's best friend. So, Scott was kind-hearted as a kid. You idiot! Aren't you and Pafana competing for the captain position on the Sky Dart team? Why are you befriending your own rival? And you even carried him to the hospital? <laughs> You're such a caring guy, aren't you? Lyndon Scott, how many times have I told you that our Scott family crest is the lone wolf? And our family motto is no enemies, no friends, only prey. Would you carry your prey to the hospital? Well, little Scott was... Pretty unfortunate to be born into such a family. But, Dad, I broke his leg on purpose. If I hadn't taken him to the hospital, others would have suspected me. Wait, what? Ah, uh, so that's how it is. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scott. I shouldn't have scolded you. <laughs> I apologize. Huh. It's okay, Dad. Because you're the best. I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It seems his most twisted desires aren't here.
Scott Sr., you're suspected of accepting a huge bribe. Now come with us. Ah, the old guy got caught! <laughs> Oh, I knew this day would eventually come. <laughs> I only have one question, Captain. <laughs> Who sold me out? An internal tip-off. We're not allowed to disclose any details. An internal tip-off? <sighs> Most of those involved have neither the motive nor the evidence. But who could it be? It was me, Dad. I turned you in. You? Scott? You're the one who turned me in? Oh, man! This guy is heartless! The old guy looks like he's about to cry! <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so proud of you. Proud? Dad. Use me as a stepping stone to reach greater heights. Lyndon Scott, you are the pride of the Scott family. A true lone wolf. And your dad is so proud of you. I'll do as you've taught me, father. Jeez, oh, this guy is simply hopeless. His most twisted desires aren't here at all. Hey, Scott. My best buddy. I'm getting transferred to the Tartarian. Let's grab a drink after work. This guy actually has friends? <sighs> Maybe I can find something here that'll make him change his ways. The Tartarian? That's the frontier fortification vessel, isn't it? You haven't slipped up at work lately, have you? <laughs> so it was you who meddled and got me transferred, right? Uh, no one else on our team has the skill to pull something like this off. <laughs> Come on! Why am I not surprised at all? It couldn't be helped. Your position was so desirable, I had to make a move. It's not just about the position, is it? There's also Rakshmi. <laughs> no one will ever compete with you for her again. Raxby? Glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog. Could it be that Raxby is the love of Scott's life? Please, promise me that you'll treat her well. <sighs> of course, Ashiva. 